they should be known as men and women filled with the god experience cardinal carlo maria martini speaks of three kinds of prayers one thing i found out after becoming bishop is this my own episcopal motto is to listen to him to listen to her to listen to the people community prayer how we spend time for quality community prayer it is a wonderful season for us to be really renewed one hour of adoration at least 15 minutes of silence you should have Uh, thank you, Sister Agnes, and all the office bearers of the OIRF, in inviting me to be with you this morning. I am very grateful. Initially, I was hesitant because so many small units may start inviting me, and as bishop, we may uh, find it difficult to attend. One thing I found out. after becoming bishop is this you have lot of invitations to give talks but you don't have sufficient time to read pray and prepare so without uh, uh, sufficient time for preparation you are continuously asked to preach to give talks and so on but then still i managed to find some time and i am happy to be here this morning i told sisters as soon as i came here better we have some kind of interaction and then we go forward for the celebration of the eucharist rather than a monologue a talk by me and you listening continuously my own episcopal motto is to listen to him to listen to her to listen to the people huh? this is the episcopal motto we have to listen to people that is one thing before we have such kind of sharing as father maran said we should also once again be reminded of the importance of this holy season of lent i wrote something uh, some years ago in the shepherd's voice of the good shepherd seminary titled 40 days um that is about the season of lent i can send it to you you can forward to them but it is a wonderful season for us to be really renewed with the grace of god i was just going through the recent book of our sister enigo former general of st anne's chennai she repeated what the ecclesia in asia the post synodal apostolic exhortation after the synod of asia set modern religious are known as excellent administrators and good charity workers but they are not known as men and women of god so this is stated as early as in the year 2001 2002 when this apostolic exhortation was released and then sister in a recent book in the first chapter speaks about it she says a hindu guru told her it seems everyone has to be a guru everyone should be approached because they are filled with the experience of god 
It is not at all so in recent times. It is true here and there, there are some people who are really approached for their spiritual experience. But people approach so many of them. Why? Because the school is good. So push the gate and try to enter inside, have a darshan of the principal for admission in the school. Good. Running schools is good. I don't uh, find fault with it. And then also some kind of charity works, NGO work they are doing. But is it primarily? And uh, the document said, and now Sister Inigo says that they should be known as men and women filled with uh, God experience. Spirit-filled men and women. So for that, the Lenten season gives an occasion. Beautiful readings all the time. Insistence on prayer. Prayer life. A time uh, for intense prayer life. On a day like this, you already had way of the cross and confession. Once again, ask yourself, how is your prayer life? Community prayer, how oh, we spend time for quality community prayer. Going on saying this without any um, newness in the sense, I don't know whether sisters in the community take chance, take turns to explain at least one psalm per day during the morning prayer or evening prayer. And then proper pause during the uh, prayer and so on. Community prayer should be meaningful. Not simply to finish the obligation. I'm dealing with so many religious congregations. Sometimes it is really shocking. Many a congregation doesn't insist on it and people are not bothered about it. Some pray, some do not come. Sometimes superiors and principals. It is very rare to find them in community prayer. Some rare congregations. Doesn't matter. I'm sure you are all faithful to that. And then personal prayer. Community prayer and personal prayer. So this is the first important thing, personal prayer. And I always say these days, what is prayer? Prayer is speaking to God and listening to Him. Speaking to God and listening to Him. I speak often of Abraham's prayer. Cardinal Carlo Maria Martini speaks of three kinds of prayers. Traditionally, we speak of four kinds of prayers. Prayer of praise, Prayer of thanksgiving, prayer of petition, prayer of forgiveness, prayer for forgiveness. Traditionally, we say, uh, Cardinal Martini, in his book on Abraham, speaks of three kinds of prayers. The first one is the prayer of listening. God calls, Abraham listens. That's why I insist that people, the Christians, all the people, Listen to the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Prayer of listening. The papal preacher Raniero Cantala Mesa says this. The father was speaking to the son during the prayer in in the garden of Gethsemane. The son thought he was making a petition to the father. The son said, Father, take this cup away from me, but not my will, it is your will. The father was speaking to the son, Son, drink this cup, I will not take this cup. Every time you pray, the Lord will be speaking to you. That's why sufficient time for silence during all our prayers is needed. 
some of them hate silence even in the mass as soon as i finish the homily people want to start the offertory here supposed to be at least one minute silence liturgically i say let us pray that prayer is called collect i am supposed to collect all your prayers and then say immediately the organ is play let us pray she is wanting to accompany me it seems i don't like all this immediately i want to give time for the people to pray silently for a little while the let us pray is to be followed by a few moments of silence the lord will be speaking even in the holy hour some people think that they should have five songs six songs for the holy hour one hour of adoration at least 15 minutes of silence you should have let the lord speak to you prayer of listening is very very important some are afraid of silence because the lord will be telling you lord i want to get good marks the lord will be speaking to you study well lord i want peace of mind come on sister control your tongue the lord will be speaking to you <laughs> don't be lazy the lord will be telling you prayer of listening god calls abraham listens till the very end one of these days we had the testing of abraham god calls abraham listens very beautiful prayer of listening yesterday we went to our silvergiri to meet the youth i was happy that while returning we listened the gospel of john silvergiri because i had program here a uh, retreat for all the teachers from 12th chapter onwards we listen to the gospel of john so nice we could finish you know last uh, july 18 my elder brother passed away and then the children had to come from london i had to go to delhi for an important meeting with two cardinals i could not postpone the meeting i was thinking then the body was kept in the mortuary and then we started from here to go to the airport in bangalore to meet the nuncio we listened from psalm 1 to 60 till i reached bangalore airport from here 1 to 60 then i went to delhi i took the flight there at 9:30 in the night came here to a bangalore airport at 1 o'clock secretary and uh, father stanley and other professors were waiting there to accompany me to my place from psalm 60 to 150 we listened till i reached i was happy after the death of my brother before his burial i could listen with other fathers on the driver the whole book of psalms 150 songs god will be speaking to you strengthening you whenever i get somewhat down and out i always listen to second corinthians that's why i say second corinthians if you hear in my voice you will not feel like keeping it switching off it gives me enormous energy paul's experience listen that's why he said episcopal motto is listen are you listening enough if you don't listen to god you will not listen to your brothers and sisters and if you listen to your brothers and sisters you will listen to god prayer of listening very important and uh, this lenten season is should be marked by more attentive listening to the word of god in my voice the new testament is 26 hours in english maybe 24 hours in my voice 
the whole New Testament, 24 hours. If you only listen to all the letters of St. Paul, of course you read and reflect also. Sometimes if you don't understand when you read also, the pause with which I read may make you understand. So read it, that's what I said. You will surely benefit by it, not because of the Bible, but in silence, listen to God, in prayer, every day. That will surely transform your life. More attentive, listening to God, listening to God. Secondly, the second type of prayer is, we all can do, prayer of lamentation. Prayer of lamentation. First, prayer of listening. Second is prayer of lamentation. I have prepared now, we have uploaded only two of the sentences which Jesus spoke from the cross. Already it is uploaded two. The other five are waiting to be uploaded. Uh, the first one is of course, Father forgive them, they do not know what they are doing. And the second one also I have uploaded, that is, uh, today you will be with me in paradise. Maybe tomorrow or day after I will upload, this is my son, uh, th this is your son, this is your mother, that one. Then comes the fourth, Father, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabaktani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus speaks from the cross. How the faithful can speak to Jesus when he utters these words? This is the intent of this prayer. Intent of this prayer. So, the prayer of lamentation from the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Every religious, every consecrated person, everyone who is called for a special occasion can at some moment or other in his or her life will have to pray this prayer. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You only called me. You only assured me that I will be a blessing. But I am misunderstood. I am not getting recognition for what I did. There is a contrast between the promise you made and the fulfillment. That is lamentation. Whenever there is a conflict or contrast between the promise and the fulfillment. We can always lament. And the Lord Jesus lamented. A good number of psalms are psalms of lamentation. I did not do harm to anybody. So many people are against me. My friend is against me. They are plotting against me. Lord, come, act. This is a very, very beautiful prayer, prayer of lamentation. And the psalmist says, Lord, you know how much I am groaning with pain. You have gathered my tears in your leather bag, not an ordinary bag, in your leather bag. You have written them in your book. Prayer of lamentation. Deliver me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Why are you silent, Lord? Not only when we pray the divine office, but also alone before the Lord, we can spend time in the prayer of lamentation. And then the third prayer, type of prayer that Cardinal Martini attributes to Abraham is this, the common prayer, 
the well known type of prayer we all know the prayer of petition the prayer of petition we read already in the book of genesis 20th chapter 7th verse abimelech wants to take abraham's wife sara for himself in fact this is repeated already in the 13th chapter pharaoh also tried the same again this is repeated also in the life of isaac also three times this type of incident is narrated and then it is abraham's mistake to tell a lie but then god tells abimelech is chosen uh, about his chosen one what does he say he says he is a prophet he will pray for you and you will live for abraham's mistake abimelech is told abraham is a prophet he will pray for you and you will live this is how all the chosen ones of god are called important for our renewal is this prayer and also the renewal through our own personal time in the presence of the lord and attentive listening to the word of god